call to order the City of Douglasville City Council regular meeting for today, which is September 6th. And we will have the invocation that will be done by Pastor Harry Pitts of No Limits Bible Study. And after that, our Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Mayor Pro Tem Larry Yaki. Please stand for the invocation. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. We'll bow our heads. Father God, we thank you for today, God. We thank you for your manifold wisdom. God, we thank you for your counsel, Lord God, and I thank you, Lord God, for Mira Robinson and the council men and council women that are present today before us. God, I ask that you grant wisdom, God, and step in the time and do what you do best, and that's be God. Father God, I pray over them, Lord God, and I thank you, Lord God, for their families. God, I ask that you bless them, Lord God, and Father God, on tonight, God, God, guide this meeting. Father God, have your perfect way. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you say in James chapter 1, verse 5, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Father God, and as a clergy member on today, Lord God, I ask for wisdom for these council people, Father, these public servants, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that everything that is on uh, uh, each resolution shall be accomplished on today. We thank you, Lord God, for unity, not discord. We thank you, Lord God, for our dreams being both, Lord God, through these beautiful people. And we thank you, Lord God, for your graciousness. And God, continue to bless as we know what you can do best, Father God. Strengthen each and every single one of them. Thank you, Lord God, for increase in Douglasville, Lord God. Birthing purpose and greatness in Douglasville. And it's in your name that we pray, Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Pitts and Mayor Pro Tem Yaki. We'll go through announcements and presentations, and at this time, if you would please silence all of your electronic devices um, so that uh, they will not go off and be disruptive to the meeting. Put your phones and iPads and all of that in silent mode or tone, turn them off during the meeting, please. Um, we would ask, as you come to the podium, if you would like to address the mayor and council, <coughs> that you would give your name and address for the record and uh, fill out a form, a green form that's on the table outside of the council chambers and hand that form into our assistant city clerk, Ms. Sharon, who's to my right. And you are welcome to come to the podium and make um, a statement during that time. So now we're going to go to the minutes. The minutes of the legislative work session and executive session of August 11th, 2016 and the regular meetings of August 15th, 2016. I make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Thank you. We have a motion and second to approve the minutes as presented. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. The ayes have it. The <coughs> consent agenda. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda as second. presented. Second. Thank you so much. We have a first, I mean, a, a motion to approve and a second. So all those in favor of approving the consent agenda as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, the ayes have it. We'll move on to Public Safety Committee, and that is chaired by Mayor Pro Tem Larry Yaki. No items tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. Community and Economic Development Committee, that's chaired by Council Member Mark Adams. No items tonight, Madam Mayor, thank you. You're welcome, thank you, sir. We'll move on to Planning and Development Committee, and that is chaired by Council Member Mark Adams as well. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Under Planning and Development Committee, we have one item tonight, that's 22-16-31. Request approval of a final plat for the purpose of subdividing into two tracks located at 6750 Clark Street, Landlot 16, District 1, Section 5E, Parcel 6. Application by Jason Bell, 7 Studs, LLC. <clears throat> Pardon me. I make a motion to approve item 22-16-31. Second. Thank you. It's been properly moved and second to approve item 22-16-31. Any questions or comments from the council? Not hearing any, all those in favor of approving the item, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you, item 22-16-31 has been approved. Thank you, Madam Mayor, that's all we have. Thank you, sir. We'll move on to Parks and Recreation Committee and that's chaired by Council Member Chris Watts. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have one item tonight. It's uh, item 23-16-08 to authorize the mayor to sign a one-year maintenance contract agreement with True Green LP 
to provide herbicide and fertilization treatments to the following parks in the city of Douglasville. Hunter Park, common areas in 10 athletic fields. Jesse Davis Park, common areas in football field. Fowler Field Park, common areas in two soccer fields. And Wortham Park at a cost of $26,534.09. I'd like to make a motion to approve this item, 23-16-08. Thank you. It's been properly moved and second to approve item 23-16-08 with the amount of $26,534.09. Are there any questions or comments as it relates to this item? Yes, Madam Mayor. Um, I just had a, it seems that we have a good long standing relationship with, uh, with True Green on this. It sounds like they do a good job. I was just disappointed in the fact that we did not have a, a bid process on it. Um, and so I, I don't think that's appropriate. So those are my comments. Yes, sir. It was duly noted at the um, work session, and we said that in the future for next year we would um, open the bids up that Mr. Um, I'm not sure if it was Mr. Roberts or not, but that someone would open up the bids at that time. Mr. Kendricks, I think, was here. So yes, sir, Councilmember um, Miller, we thank you for your comments. Any other questions or comments as it relates to this item? If not, all of those in favor of approving item 23-16-08, please say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Aye. Or no. Nay. Two, you have it. Thank you so much. Uh, majority rules, so item 23-16-08 has been approved. So all you have, Mr. Watts. That's the only item we have under Parks and Recreation tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. We'll move on to Finance Committee, and that's chaired by Mayor Pro Tem Larry Yaki. No item tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. The next committee is Information and Technology Committee, and that's chaired by Councilmember Richard Siegel. No business tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. We'll move on to Maintenance and Sanitation Committee, and that's chaired by Councilmember Mike Miller. Thank you, Madam Mayor. You're we have one item tonight that is 26 16 0. Authorize the mayor to sign an amendment to an agreement with AECOM Technical Services Incorporated for the purposes of adding additional scope of services for task order two, uh, evaluating the feasibility of a new maintenance and sanitation location. I place that in the form of, form of a, a motion for approval. Second. Thank you so much. Um, the item number is 26-16-09, correct? That's correct, okay. Your Honor. That's yes, sir. Your Honor. Um, all those in favor of approving this item? Oh, I apologize. Are there any questions or comments as it relates to this item? Thank you. Not hearing any. All of those in favor of approving the item, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Item 26-16-09 has been approved. Thank you. That's all we have tonight, Madam Mayor. Okay, thank you. Transportation Committee, and that's chaired by Council Member LaShawn Burdanley. Thank you, Madam Mayor. You're welcome. Um, item 27-16-06, authorize the mayor to sign an ad services request agreement with Braun Cleveland & Associates Incorporated for the City of Douglasville Lighting and Banners Phase 2, PI number 0009035, project on Dallas Highway to increase the original contract amount by $4,750 for additional project work required by WSA and to extend the length of the contract through December 31st, 2017. I make a motion that we approve item 27-16-06. Thank you, it's been properly moved and second to approve item 27-16-06. Are there any questions or comments as relates to this item? Thank you, not hearing any. All of those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed of uh, the item, please say aye. Same sign. Thank you, item 27-16-06 has been approved. Thank you, item 27-16-07, authorize the mayor to sign a real property agreement with Georgia Department of Transportation for the Lighting and Banners Phase Two Project PI number 0009035, I make a motion that we approve item 27-16-07. Thank you. Item 27-16-07 has been properly moved and second to approve. Are there any questions or comments as it relates to this item? Not hearing any, all those in favor of approving the item, please say aye. 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 Opposed, the same sign. 
the eyes have it. Item 27-16-07 has been approved. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'd like to just state that item 27-16-08 and also item 27-16-09, item 27-16-10 are all in concordance. So I'm going to read um, the first item and then um, go from there. Select ACON Technical Services or select Braun Cleveland Associates Incorporated or select Heath and Lineback Engineers Incorporated as the City of Douglasville Consulting Engineer pr to provide preliminary engineering, environmental right-of-way services and construction plans for the Douglasville right of Parkway Bridge located on Riverside Parkway over Sweetwater Creek in the City of Douglasville, Georgia. I would like to make a motion that item 26 dash 16 dash 08 through 26 dash 27 dash 16 dash 10 be uh, that we take no action at this time there were some questions and some concerns that we had in regards to um, some a study and also some documentation as it relates to the timing of the, um, the G dots recommendation for the bridge and by taking no action at this time it is not stating that the the mayor and council we are not neglecting the um, Riverside Parkway bridge but we will have information and we'll be able to make a decision on our next date of um, which would be September the 19th so I make a motion that we table those items madam mayor second okay it's been uh, properly moved and second to Table items 27-16-08, 27-16-09, and 27-16-10 um, to the meetings of September 15th and 19th. Okay, any other questions or comments as it relates to tabling this item? All those in favor of tabling the items, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you, these items have been, approved, uh, have been tabled to September 15th and 19th. Thank you, Madam Mayor. No other items under transportation. Thank you so much. We'll move on to personnel and organization committee, and that's chaired by Council Member Mike Miller. No business tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. Ordinances and intergovernmental committee, that's chaired by Council Member LaShawn Burdanley. No items tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Education and training committee, that's chaired by Council Member Samuel Davis. No items tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Is there any other business to come before the council tonight from council members, Mayor Council? Okay, not hearing any, we will go to our city attorney, Mr. Joel Dotson. No business tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. Chief Assistant City Attorney, Ms. Susan Littlefield. Madam Mayor, no official business. I would request a brief executive session afterwards to discuss potential litigation, and you may adjourn into that meeting. Thank you so much. Um, Chief of Police. Chief Gary Sparks. No business, Madam Mayor. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chief, for attending the um, Wooly Watkins Labor Day picnic yesterday. You and Council Member Danley were there. It's a great showing from the city. Uh, we'll move on to City Manager, Ms. Marcia Hampton. Uh, just to um, remind you all that following the um, executive session, we do have to uh, go back into the Maintenance and Sanitation Committee, um, and then if those staff members who are involved with that can wait outside until we're done. And then for your um, September 15th meeting, you received the message from the city clerk about the potential of a meeting starting at 430. We will not do that. Your meetings will start at this regular time at 5 o'clock, which will involve your training for the new software for the agenda management system. And at that time, uh, for those of you who've had your iPads turned into IT for software installation, we will return those at that time. And that's all I have. Thank you so much, Madam City Manager. Comments from citizens and delegates. Now the floor is open, the podium is available. If you would like to make a statement to myself and the council, now's your opportunity. Please come forward, state your name and address for the record, and um, you may give us any comments that you might have. None, Mr. Sisk? <laughs> Just here to visit. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll go to staff reports, and we have a staff report concerning the Taylor Phillips Field dedication event and other activities and events planned at Hunter Park Memorial Park and Jesse Davis Memorial Park from Parks and Recreation Committee, and that's chaired by Councilmember Chris Watts. Thank you, Madam Mayor. 
Uh, we have a staff report tonight concerning the Taylor Phillips Field dedication event and other activities and events planned at Hunter Park and Jesse Davis Park. And I'd like to turn this over uh, to Mr. Bursich. Miko Bursich, 275 Glen Eagles Way, Hiram, Georgia, 30141. I'm the athletic director for the Parks and Recreation Department. And just updating you on the dedication of Taylor Phillips Field. Uh, we'll be at the pavilion under the <clears throat> at the red field. I've got 50 chairs that will be set up for the invitees and the mayor and council. We'll also have food there as well, which will be donated from various local restaurants and businesses. Uh, I'll be doing the welcome and Miss Marsha Hampton, she'll be doing the comments and would like Coach Councilman Coach Watts to speak, as well as Taylor Phillips' son, John Phillips, and the Honorable Mayor Rochelle Robinson to close. Um, also at Hunter Park, we'll have our second annual Hunter's Harvest Fest. Uh, the event's been changed. It's now from 9, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, last year, there was over 25 vendors, and they're $25 a piece, and there's also a costume competition <laughs> at the event at 11 a.m. Uh, as far as Hunter Park Youth Baseball, we'll start our fall season this weekend on the 10th. We'll play at a park. Uh, our tournament season at Hunter Park starts September 17th. We have seven dates at Hunter Park, uh, two of which are Saturday-Sunday tournaments. Uh, then our rec department will play in-house an additional five weekends of the eight weekends scheduled. Uh, Tiger Cubs, they're in full swing. They have uh, seven games scheduled this week at Jesse Davis Park. Our I-9 Sports Association, they have an eight-week program. That begins this Sunday, September 11th at uh, Fowler Field from 12 uh, p.m. to 6 p.m. And then the Georgia Storm Soccer Association, they will also begin their play at Fowler Field on September 10th. They'll be there from roughly 9 o'clock till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And last, West Pines, they have their club championship on the 24th and 25th, and that's for both members and the public. And there's an adult golf clinic on Thursdays at 5.30 as well, starting this month. That's it for parks. Very good. Mr. Bursage, <clears throat> the time on that dedication for Taylor Field? Yes, sir, it'll be, it will start at 6.30. On the 15th? On the 13th. 13th. Tuesday the 13th. I'm sorry. 13th. Thank you. 6.30. Did you say 6.30? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Am I going to go to the adult uh, golf lessons with me? I'm sorry, Madam Mayor. You going to the adult golf lessons with me at West Pines? No, ma'am. No, you're not coming. Okay. <clears throat> I'm recruiting. I don't want to have a lawsuit against the city because I shank one into the... <clears throat> hurt somebody. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other business to come before the council? Any questions for Mr. Burgess? Uh, no, ma'am, not for Mr. Burgess, but we do have one other staff member that wants to make a report when he's, when you all are done questioning him. I think we're done. Thank you. <laughs> Another staff member come forward. Hey, Mr. Lynn. <laughs> I didn't get to talk to y'all tonight, so I just, I just asked if I'd come up and say a few words. Uh, Jonathan Lynn, Community and Development Services Director, 6695 Church Street. Uh, I just wanted to let mayor and council know that on Tuesday night, September the 27th, our Main Street and Downtown Development Authority in the city of Douglasville will be hosting a downtown town hall meeting here at the conference center. Uh, the purpose of this meeting is to get some citizen involvement regarding the RFP that we, that you guys approved minutes ago to issue the new downtown master plan. We would like to have citizens come and participate in, an, in a discussion to see what they would like to get out of this plan to see how we can create that vision for downtown. And if we do have any consultants that are wishing to bid on that process that we hear about ahead of time, we are going to invite them to that meeting, not to be a part of the discussion, but just for them to be able to hear about that discussion, to know what citizens are looking for, residents, businesses, any organizations, what they're looking for to come into the downtown area and to be a part of this plan. Uh, also, as part of this meeting, we will we'll be, excuse me, we will be providing an update to those that show up regarding the O'Neill Plaza construction and when, that, when that's slated to start and how that will affect downtown. Very good. Uh, sorry, it is from, we're having it start at 6.30 and it should end approximately eight o'clock. And we will provide food uh, Tuesday, September 27th. We'll get an email on that. Yes, sir, you will. 
Thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Lynn? This relates to the town hall meeting for residents for downtown. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lynn. Any other staff reports? Not hearing any, I will adjourn this meeting into executive session to discuss a potential litigation matter. Take I'll a apologize. motion and vote, please. Oh, I make a um, call for a vote. Yes, I'm, <clears throat> I make a motion that we go into executive a fi a executive session for a, a financial. Discussion on politi uh, potential litigation, please. Potential lit litigation. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. We're adjourned to executive session. Thank you.